Welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will display a user's current location in Mapbox using Kotlin in Android Studio. Before we get started, if you have not watched the old video Mapbox's step-by-step -step implementation, I added the video link in the description. Keep watching them and share them with your fellows. We initialize some variables, including location permission helper to manage location permissions and various listeners for tracking changes in the user's location and bearing direction. We set up a listener called on indicator bearing change listener to respond when the bearing direction of the user's location indicator changes on the map. We create another listener, on indicator position change listener, to handle changes in the position, location, of the user's indicator on the map. We implement a listener called on move listener to detect and respond to move gestures made by the user on the map. We create a map view widget and set it as the content view for this activity. The map view will display the map provided by Mapbox. We use the location permission helper to check if the app has the necessary location permissions. If permissions are granted, we proceed to initialize the map. Once permissions are granted, we set up the initial map configuration, including setting the camera's zoom level. We load the Mapbox Streets map style. We add the Amuvel listener to the map's gestures, allowing us to respond to user interactions with the map.
we initialize the location component, which is responsible for displaying the user's location on the map. We configure the appearance of the location indicator, including its icon and shadow. In the onDestroy method, we ensure that all listeners are removed when the activity is destroyed to prevent memory leaks. Lastly, we handle the results of location permission requests in the onRequestPermissionsResult method. The location permission helper helps manage these permission results. 